need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can insert functions into a selected cell in one of several ways. You could click the Insert Function button that appears in the Function Library button group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. Or you could click the Function button that appears within the Formula bar. Or you could select the Insert Function command from the bottom of the drop-down list of functions that appears when you click on any of the Function Category buttons that are shown in the Function Library button group on the Formulas tab within the ribbon. Whenever you do any one of these actions, you will launch the Insert Function dialog box. In the Insert Function dialog box, you can search for a function by typing a few words that describe what you want to do into the Search for a Function text box and then clicking the Go button to the right of that. A listing of functions that you may want to use will then appear within the Select a Function text box. You can click on a function shown here to see a description of the function and its syntax in the area below that. You can also use the Or Select a Category drop-down within the dialog box to select a category of functions to inspect for the one that you would like to use. If you choose the All category, you will then see an alphabetized listing of all of Excel's functions appear within the Select a Function text box. You can click on the function you want to investigate to see a description of its function and syntax in the area below that. Once you've selected a function, you can click the OK button to open the Function Arguments dialog box, which is where you complete your function. Now alternately, if you know which function that you want to use and within which category the function is found, then you can simply click on the function's category, which is shown as a book in the Function Library button group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. Then select the function from the drop-down. And this will bypass using the Insert Function dialog box and instead immediately open the Function Arguments dialog box, which is where you complete your formula. So once you've selected a function, the Function Arguments dialog box will appear. You use this dialog box to select the cells that contain the values necessary to complete all of the arguments that are required for your selected function to work. Arguments are simply required and often optional values that must be specified for your function to work. Most of the time these are cell addresses or cell ranges that refer to required values. To select a cell or cell range to use for any argument shown, click the small red, white, and blue collapse and expand dialog box button that appears at the right end of any argument shown within the dialog box to collapse the function arguments dialog box down to a single line. This will give you room to select the cell or range of cells within the worksheet that you want to use for the arguments reference. Simply click and drag over the cell, cell range, or cell ranges that you need to select in order to complete the selected argument. Then click the small red, white, and blue collapse and expand dialog box button again to expand the function arguments dialog box back to its full size. You can repeat this process for any other argument shown until you've entered all of the required arguments for your selected function. Once you have entered all of the required arguments, click the OK button in the function arguments dialog box to insert the function into your worksheet. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.